Hello, my name is Charles Hips. I'm CEO and founder of WCN PLC, leading provider of e-recruitment solutions around the world. Just finished um, our London breakfast seminar on the future of emerging talent. It comes shortly following similar events that we've just run in New York and in Silicon Valley. One of the areas we discussed was what is best practice emerging talent recruitment? And as a group, I think over 200 people we had attending these events, we sort of uh, crowdsourced some ideas. So I guess number one is to have a great millennials or emerging talent employer value proposition. Uh, a proposition that your target audience in all its diversity values. Secondly is the importance that that value proposition you know is honest and deliverable. Recruitment should be a virtuous circle with the great talent you bring in uh, living that value proposition and then going out and proselytizing and bringing new great talent into the business. Thirdly engage early, recruit quickly and build a pipeline of future great hires. If a few years ago if you talked about pipelining talent in uh, emerging talent people would have kind of looked at you blankly and go oh I'm in a data applications I don't need to pipeline but everybody is pipelining these days um, from uh, you know KPMG um, offering an intern uh, sorry, offering a first year or a freshman student uh, a leadership program um, which then ties them into a second year internship from uh, organizations I think it was like Arcadia was talking about uh, their school program that then leads people into internship programs and leads people um, you know, into obviously full-time employment. The fourth one would be about blending and synergizing uh, lots of different entry points and also your own uh, talent, internal engagement of your internal talent. Um, you know, again, a few years back, uh, emerging talent recruitment seemed a lot simpler. People might have, you know, one, you know, graduate program. Uh, today, um, our clients have um, school engagement, apprenticeship, school lever, uh, you know, first year, second year internship, etc., etc. School um, full time hires, MBA hires, PhD hires. You know, there's a multitude of of uh, programs, and you need to you know synergize and blend those to uh, effectively um, hire all the talent uh, you need. But also, it's really important that you obviously continue to engage with those hires. Uh, the millennials um, expect to stay in a job less than two years. There's no point having a two-year program that uh, you know, doesn't think about how uh, you retain them after that two years. Otherwise, you will suffer a lot of uh, attrition there. Nuclear graduates you know, talked about now uh, having moved from a, a two-year horizon to talking to new people joining the business about a five-year horizon. Uh, with regular check-ins and their ability actually really interestingly to um, influence people's aspirations and values and what they were looking for. Five um, is about understanding uh, great and you know hiring great and hiring for diversity. Um, employers don't spend enough time thinking about what is a great hire, who is going to perform brilliantly in our business and with the advent of things like big data and uh, you know, more use of psychometrics, uh, the use of good MI within your systems, the ability to, to measure these things is, is suddenly there. Six is you know, leverage technology to magnify your efforts, but also to talk in the media to which the audience um, you're used to talking. We had a lot of people talking about you know, use of social media, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you know, that is a, a common media, obviously, uh, in which um, the populations that we're targeting are used to talking. But I have, there's three key you know, um, technology themes. One is engage. Um, you know, use technology to engage with candidates to deliver personalized, rewarding experiences and you know, to amplify um, your employee voice. You know, secondly, um, it's use intelligence. Use the intelligence of, uh, embedded within technology 
um, to uh, understand great, um, hire great, and to drive continuous improvement. Um, and thirdly is, you know, virtualize. So use technology to virtualize your recruitment efforts, to um, allow people to self-service, to uh, automate and bulk uh, process administrative tasks, uh, to allow you to speed up your recruitment, to extend your reach and diversify. Seven, it's absolutely critical to engage your whole business, to engage your leaders, to engage internal stakeholders and your advocates in your uh, recruitment process. You know, people buy people, uh, but also don't fight the war on talent, you know, as a recruitment division, fight it as a whole firm. And finally, eight, make emerging talent one of your organization's number one priorities. McKinsey's in its CEO briefing say that there is a 40 million uh, deficit in university educated employees. Um, you know, emerging talent is the future of an organization, but not every organization can have a future if there is a 40 million deficit. Uh, so it's really important that um, you know, we make sure the organization understands that emerging talent recruitment, campus, graduate recruitment, apprenticeship recruitment, whatever you want to call it, early years recruitment, needs to be a number one priority for your organization to have a successful future. I hope um, those eight points summarizing some, uh, just a small part of the content that's been discussed over the last week in Silicon Valley, New York, and London uh, is of interest. Um, we had fantastic participation. We had fantastic um, speakers. You know, I want to say a big thank you to you know, Morgan Stanley for hosting the event in New York, for Equinix for hosting the event in California, and to nuclear graduates for speaking today. We've had great panelists. You know, I'd love to say a big thank you to uh, Marsh McLennan, Goldman Sachs, AIG, um, BlackRock, um, and KPMG, you know, for sitting on various panels for us. Um, but also, I'd like to say, you know, a big thank you to the 200 or so participants. You know, we had an immense amount of experience in uh, all the rooms. You know, many people there are, are really there to share knowledge and experience, and um, they did a great job sharing their experiences. So, a big thank you to everybody who came along. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, um, I hope um, you might come along in the future. Um, so, you know, please uh, check back on our website, come along to our uh, next event, um, and share your knowledge. It's been good talking to you. Thank you very much.